Hi there and welcome to Arduino Project 3, the Lovometer. So again, similar to Project 2, the first thing we're going to do is create the actual board and then we're going to go and do a little bit of programming and then we're going to come back and see exactly if that works or not. So the Arduino itself is currently only hooked up to the 5 volt, nothing else is there, so the first thing we're going to do is connect our temperature gauge. So temperature gauge, according to the Arduino book, needs to be um, with the curved part curved part of this tiny little thing facing away from the actual cables so we need to need to actually first spread these wires out a little bit and then put them in say let's say seven eight and nine here so there is our temperature gauge all hooked up uh, and then we're going to be connecting this the top part of this to our power so that's hole seven to hole to the power there and then the bottom part of this is going to connect to the ground. So let's do nine across to ground, like so. And then the middle part of this is actually going to go across to analog slot zero. So we're going to connect slot eight there, through down to, whoops, analog slot zero, all the way down here. So there is analog slot zero on the Arduino board pick that up and show a little bit closer. So we've got um, first pin is going to power, second pin going all the way across here to analog slot zero, and then the third pin is going to the ground there. So that's the first part of that sorted. The second part is actually connecting these LEDs uh, up to the digital outputs, or digital in slash outputs, uh, the digital interfaces, and we're going to connect them via it's going to be 2, 3 and 4, so we're going to first have, uh, let's go and put this down here as one of those, and then we'll have this here as one of those, and we'll have this here as well as one of those, and then we'll be connecting this, so we'll be putting the resistor between the uh, the cathode, which is the short leg, let me just double check, yes, short leg is at the bottom, and the uh, ground, so we'll do our first one here, like so, and then our second one here, like so, if you'll go in, and then the third one, let's straighten this out a bit, because I've been reusing these same resistors, up here against that one, and there, like so. Perfect. So they've all gone in nicely, and then we're going to be connecting the anodes across to uh, digital ports 2, 3, and 4. So we'll connect, uh, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, because I'm overlapping everything. So we'll connect this anode here to digital port 2. Just bend this around here like so, and get that in there. And then we'll connect the second one, like so, into digital port 3. This is lighting up because it's still got the previous program in. <laughs> so that's actually lighting up now. And then the final one, we will connect to port 4. So let's plug you in here and connect you to port 4 like so and you're not lighting up so let's just very quickly I'm going to just change the program on the Arduino I'm going to upload the blink program again so that these will essentially go off and we'll start blinking the old blink program so there's just a, a small blink here going on if that's visible and so that should be our entire circuit completed now uh, so we've got our temperature monitor here at the top and then our three lights connected to digital two three and four so now we're going to flip over to the programming and actually program this loveometer okay so the code for this one is a little bit more involved so i'm not going to bore you by making you watch uh, me write the entire thing so i'll just skip forward a little bit uh, to once it's all finished
Alright, so that's all of the coding done for project 3. So basically what we're doing here is in the setup we're saying that we're opening a serial port, we're 9600, and we're looking at um, each one of the pin numbers between uh, 2 and 4, so that's 2, 3 and 4, and we are setting the pin numbers to output and we're writing the pin number output to low, so that's basically switching off all three of our LEDs. Uh, then in our loop, in our main loop, the first thing we're doing is um, having a look at the sensor value and then if whatever that sensor value is we're going to be reading out the voltage and then the degrees centigrade from it and then we're going to compare the temperature uh, against our baseline temperature which began with 10 and we're basically saying if the temperature is less than the baseline temperature then we're going to leave all of the LEDs off so 2, 3 and 4 are going to be set to low uh, then if it's between 10 and 12 the first uh, LED is going to light up the second two are going to be off still uh, then if it's between uh, what is it now uh, if it's greater than or equal to two, oh sorry if that's between 12 and 14 uh, then it's going to light up one if it's between 14 and 16 it's going to light up two and then if it's above 16 it's going to light up all three and then we're going to have a delay I've put in a hundred here but the uh, the manual says one let's, let's do it as one uh, and then we'll save that and then uh, we'll upload this to the Arduino and we'll uh, see if this works. Oh, so there's been an error compiling, so let's have a quick look at this error message here. So what's it saying? Baseline temp was not declared in this scope. So where has baseline temp come from then? So baseline temp is... Ah, that's because I misspelled the word float. So let's try that again. Still an error compiling. Sense of veil, there's another spelling mistake somewhere. Uh, sense of Val is there and Sense of Veil is there. So let's change that and then upload that. AO is not declared in the scope. Now, AO is what it tells me in the book to actually assign for the sensor pin. So, comes int sensor pin equals AO. Maybe that's a zero. Let's try that. Much better. It's actually compiled properly this time. Uh, the actual book there doesn't <laughs> differentiate very well between a, an O and a zero. So, uh, oh well, um, it's compiled now and it's uploaded. So let's go back to the camera and see how we're doing. Okay, so we uploaded our program. And as you can see, all three of the LEDs are actually lit up. So what that means is basically that it's really hot in this room, which it is. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the computer now and have a look at the... Uh, the serial write, the serial output to what is actually being uh, given to us by the sensors and then reprogram the um, reprogram the sensor slightly to more match this room and then hopefully if I touch the actual sensor at the top it will change the temperature of it and we'll actually be able to see this in action. So I'm going to flick back over to the computer very quickly. Okay so now we can actually see the COM output uh, for the Arduino here and you can see that the actual degrees centigrade in this room is around 23 degrees. Uh, so what that means is that basically because our, um, our baseline temperature was set to 10 degrees and we were looking at anything between 10 and what 16 degrees or 10 and 18 degrees, uh, then every single time we look at this it's going to be out of range. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this baseline temperature here to 20 degrees and then I'll just close the comma output here and re-upload this and then hopefully if I reopen the serial monitor well reopening the serial monitor won't actually do anything you can see it's actually crashed on the screen at the moment um, but when it, it'll show exactly the same values but hopefully when I go back to the camera now uh, the temperature will be slightly more uh, to what we see um, well, it'll give us some more indication of what the temperature is. So let's go back over to the uh, camera now. Okay, here we can see it has actually made a difference. Only one of the LEDs is now lit up. So hopefully, if I pinch the actual, there you go, the second LED and the third LED finally is lit up there. So I can let go of that again. And they should eventually cool down a little bit. There's the third LED going off and the second LED. Is it going to cool down enough? Not quite. 
No, so it's still hovering around that uh, 24 degree. Ooh, there's a little flicker there. And yeah, it's going off now. So it's still hovering around that 23, 24, 25 sort of degrees area. Um, but we definitely know that this sensor now works. So if I put my finger over it again, it's going to light up the first one or the second one. And then eventually the third one as well. So there we go. That's very cool. So that is our little loveometer. And obviously, I'm quite hot. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye now.